guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Another Christmas classic today. We're going to learn how to do uh, an instrumental version of uh, Carol of the Bells. Um, so this was written originally by, let me look at the name here, Mikola Leontovich. I, I destroyed that. I'm sure I did. So he wrote the music, and then some other guy wrote the, the lyrics, which is Peter Wilhowski or something. Uh, even though this is an instrumental version and the lyrics, I wouldn't even know. I, I think I know the South Park version of the lyrics. <laughs> it's the only, only version I know. Uh, anyway, so, but it is a great, you know, this just instantly recognizable how just kind of, it's got this same kind of ostinato that just goes, just goes the entire time. It just builds. You know, so it's, it's really cool how it's putting together. Uh, kind of hypnotic and you can just repeat it again and again and again until somebody throws something at you. So we're going to take a look at that whole thing. Uh, before I do, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And uh, please check out my Guitar Academy. You'll see a link in the description below. That link will give you a free seven day trial to it. Um, so my Guitar Academy contains all my guitar courses uh, from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on uh, other topics like ear training, theory, improvisation, uh, guitar tone, technique, you name it, it's over there. So please go check it out. So let's jump into this. We are going to get into drop D. So I wanted to do this. You're going to see a lot of versions of this, I'm sure, on guitar if you really wanted to look for it. I wanted to do this in the key that it was originally written in. So in order to make that happen, it works best to have it your guitar in drop D. Pretty easy to do. Take the low E string, tune it down a whole step to D. Then you're in drop D. Play a lot of groovy rock songs in that and you can also play this little Christmas classic so after we're there what I'm going to basically do there's just a few sections that we just kind of do each one mostly twice and then you can just repeat it ad nauseum <laughs> or whatever I'm gonna make a tab for this too so if you click the link in the description you'll see the tab there um, so you can um, uh, follow along a little bit easier I can make tap for this one since the music is actually in public domain so let's look at this the first opening line is just that melody for, for done four times so that is just on the third fret on the G I'm doing this finger style here and then we have two three then the open G everything on the G string, you basically repeat that four times. Now from there we're going to add this bass line, which this is an arrangement obviously, this is a full choral world, there's a lot of, you know, just different bass lines that are going on. Uh, this main one comes in and then the second time around it changes slightly, it's harmonized slightly different. I'm keeping it the same each way so it just kind of makes more sense with just one guitar. So I'm just taking that and adding a bass line under it. So at first we're gonna play the fifth fret there on the low E string. We know I know it's a D string now. But so you play the fifth fret there, and then you can you you continue that melody on the G string. So you have to do it at first with with these fingers. So I'm picking the thumb on the low string and then I'm alternating uh, the notes on the G string between my uh, index and middle fingers. So that's with the first bass uh, note. Then I'll play the same four note melody on the G string while I'm down here playing this bass note. So it's a third fret on the low E. So I have to change my fingerings around for that because I want to hold the bass note as long as possible until right before the next bass note. I don't want it, I don't want it cutting off. So to do that, I'll use that my third, my ring finger there. And then I play play that with the pinky and the middle fingers there uh, on the G string. So remember the first two I hit together and then you continue the melody. So we have so that bass note hits the same time as the first note in that four note phrase. So after there now you go and play the first fret on the low E string with that melody. 
I like using the same finger as I did the pinky and the uh, middle finger. And then open. So it kind of makes sense. I'm just using the same fingers except the last three times. So the first first time I have to use the index and middle, and then I can just keep that finger. In. So you basically do that twice, and trying to keep those bass notes as bass notes as smooth as possible. Now we start adding to the harmony. So that's another section that we just repeat twice. So it's slowly building. So what is going on here? First I'm doing a bar. I'm doing a full bar at the third fret. And I'm holding the fifth fret on the low E string. And the strings that I'm picking is the, are the, the low E string with a thumb, and then the G string with my index finger, and then the B string with my middle finger. And then, then the melody is, at first, because that first one, you hit the chord, that top note is a melody note. And then we go to the fifth fret on the G, then back to that third fret on the B string, and then to the third fret on the G. So, see I'm just doing index on the G string, middle finger on the B. All right, now what we're gonna do is basically just take, pick up the uh, ring finger. So now we just have a full bar at the third fret and take that ring finger instead of the fifth fret on the low E, it's gonna be at the, um, um, it's going to get ready to play the 5th fret on the G string. So you play now just the 3rd fret on the low E, G and the B. And then we can do that melody note on the 5th fret there with that same ring finger. Then back to the 3rd fret on the B and the 3rd fret on the G. So it's the same melody with just a bit different bass note. And then what we're going to do is continue the bass line moving down. So down to this F, oh, it's not an F, obviously. It's an E flat because we're tuned down. But we still have these same two notes, but now we're going to play them as just the third fret on the G and the B. We're going to play them with the ring finger and the pinky with that first fret on the low E. And we have to play the melody even though it's the same notes a little bit differently since we're down here now. So that's third fret. First fret on this. I'm doing a bar here so I can get that first fret on the B string. Back to the third fret on the uh, B. And over to the third fret there on the G. And then the same thing again, but now we can just pick up the bar because it's the low, no, well, D string, I guess. So those, you're going to pick that along with the third fret on the G and the B. And then that same melody, first fret, um, third fret, over to third fret on the G. So all together. Repeat. All right, now we build up the harmony a little bit more and the melody changes a little bit. It looks like this. So that was, well, I like to kind of fill out the harmony a little bit. So we still have that, we're back to this fifth fret there, on the, low, the sixth string there, on the low E string. And we're gonna play this bar across the third fret of the G, B, and the high E string. So once you do that, then you pick the high E string a couple more times. You're holding up the third fret. And then come down to the 6th fret on the B, and then the 4th fret. So it's a little bit of a stretch. 
and then take it down here. So that's playing the first fret there on the A string, third fret on the G and the B. Pick that note on the B string a couple more times. Then move it down to the first fret on the B, and then the third fret on the G. And now, we go to the, um, the first fret on the low E string, third fret on the G, first fret on the B. Sorry. So that's... Pick those and then pick that B string, the first fret a couple more times, third fret, and then back to the first. And then we end this section with, that's the low D string with the open G, and then pick it a few more times on the open G. So all together we have this. I missed the melody up, hold on. Right, now we have this uh, really cool section, sounds like this. So this is just like a little... With the, the, the D ring, this is a good reason to have this in uh, drop D. So you're gonna basically hit this D a couple of times during this run, this little scale run, but let's get the scale run down first. We're gonna start with the open D string. I recommend starting this with your index finger. Then second fret on the D, and then four. And then the open G, second fret on the G. Then move that up, shift that up to the third fret on the G. Then play fifth fret there with your pinky. And then over to the third fret on the B. And then come back down, five, three on the G. So that's the open D, zero, two, four on the D, and then zero, two, three, five, three on the B, then five, three on the G. So we're gonna start it, the first note, as you hit that first note, you hit that low D string. And then you hit it again, when you get to the fifth fret there on the G string, hit the low, that again and let it ring. So we have this. Repeat. And then it starts repeating, goes back to that uh, the version we played earlier, which just had that kind of the more simplified version when we were doing the bass line in it. The first time we brought the bass line in. Um, so, and from there you can just repeat everything. Okay, so, it can really be repeated as much as you want. And then start over. Remember, I'm not, I'm not doing that opening melody by itself first. I'm just going straight to the one with the bass line. But at the end of the song, however, when you want to, uh, you're done repeating everything, you go back to this little section. Repeat it twice, but slowly slow down. And then there's this little ending on it. So that's gonna start with the uh, fifth fret there on the low E string or low D. I know I'm calling it both names, but it's a D string right now, but you probably know it as a low E. So then, along with the bar at the third fret across the G and the B. And then we go down here, play the second fret on the G and the first fret on the B. And then back to that bar here on the three and the, uh, uh, the third fret on the G and the B and the B string. So we have this. 
then we're going to end it by playing the fifth fret there on the G string. I'm sorry, the D string. It's a G note. And then add the fifth fret there on the low E with it. You can hit it again if you want. Or the uh, open G if you want. All right, so that is about it. It's a kind of a moody Christmas classic, um, but it's really cool once you get it. And it's a, it's a good little uh, independence exercise too, keeping that bass line going and keeping adding the harmony and stuff. But it's one of those things that you can keep repeating, repeating, repeating. It sounds pretty cool. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.